Remedy H. Remember me? You pissed me off, man. You pissed me off, so I'm back for some more of your ass. Like I told you. So you thought because I walked away that that meant that you were safe. That just meant that I gave you some more rope to hang your fucking self with, man. See, it wasn't enough that she was lying to the people. Now, I saw your little video you posted about some guy, a response video to some dude that had came for you. You responded back to him talking about, you don't even know who I am and blah bitty blah bitty blah. You were talking your shit back to him, whatever the case may be. And the shit pissed me off because I came right at you, Remedy H, Seema. I'm coming right at your ass right now. Now you re you responded to whatever his name is. I don't even know his name. Jefferson, whatever the fuck. I don't know. But whatever you responded to him, and then you took the video down, talking about my point has been made. Taking my video down, my point has been made. Well, yeah, you didn't make no fucking point to me, nigga. Remedy H. You ain't answer none of my questions, so I'm back for your ass. What's up with the children? What's up with the video with the child? What's up with the, the, the note? Saying that Remedy H is my puppet. With the child in the video with the mask on. You remember that? So you think you ain't got an answer for that. But you think you're going to make a video about another nigga. When I'm begging your ass to come say something to me. And like I said man. I'm in your city, nigga. This shit it should be easy. You doing all these meetups and greets and meet and greets and, and seances and whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. Energy portals and all this other shit. Meditations and shit. But you can't find time to make one meeting with one man. But you're going to make a video about another nigga when he come at you. But you ain't said shit to me. You think I'm going to let your bitch ass slide? And we ain't letting shit slide over here, man. Especially when it comes to those children, man. So like I said, man, you ain't answer shit until you answer them questions. Until you answer me face to face, Remedy H. Because I'm in your goddamn city. 313. Detroit, Michigan. Motown. Ain't that where you at? Well, I'm right the fuck here. And that's by design, just in case you didn't know that remedy. See, that's by design. You think you're going to go run and hide and shit. When the truth comes for your ass. But when somebody you think is weaker than you, you got something to say. You don't even know me. Why are you coming for me? You don't know me. Because of what you saying. You calling yourself a brother of wisdom. Well, if you got so much goddamn wisdom, well, why don't you answer any of my questions? Do you abduct, abduct children? Remedy H. Have you abducted children? Huh? Have you molested children? Have you partaken of adrenochrome? Do you drink the blood of other people and of children? Do you, are you involved in satanic rituals? Huh? Are you a mason? Huh? You gonna answer me? You gonna make a video in response to me? Huh? Or you gonna do like you did last time? You gonna run? You gonna fucking hide, bitch ass nigga? Huh? What you gonna do? Cause as far as I'm concerned As long as you ain't responding to me, Remedy and you ain't said shit. 
as far as I'm concerned, if you ain't gonna answer these allegations, if you ain't gonna nip this shit in the bud, then you ain't said shit, and you ain't got no feet to stand on where you should be talking to nobody, my nigga. Cause I'm gonna ask you people that's listening to this bitch ass nigga. You like to molest children? Are you somebody's puppet? Because there is a video with a child on it with a mask on his face reading a letter that somebody's coaching him to read and the child saying Remedy H is my puppet is my puppet and I put the video on this nigga page Remedy you saw it I put it on your shit I asked you about it you didn't say anything you ain't said shit I don't give a fuck who I offend about this shit Cause you weak ass niggas If you ain't gonna hold a nigga accountable to his bullshit If you ain't gonna do it Then somebody gonna have to do it for your ass And I'm holding all you niggas accountable You wanna teach the people right You wanna teach the people Then how do you leave That kind of loose end if you a teacher, why won't you just answer the questions? Why won't you just face it? But instead you fled, man. So the wicked flee when no man is pursuing them, shit. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. So are you righteous and are you as bold as a lion? Or are you fleeing every fucking time somebody asks you a goddamn question? Y'all niggas acting like I came out of thin air with this shit. Like, I just popped out of thin air like, hey, guys, I think this nigga's molesting children or blah, blah, blah. No, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. The, 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 the evidence was there. I asked the nigga and he's not answering. He hides. But when somebody else says something to this nigga, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Now, all of a sudden, he can respond to the shit. And all you weak ass fucking dick suckers are all going behind this fat fuck talking about, yeah, brother, you don't waste your energy on those people. We have to go into the darkness and rise up in this power so that we can destroy. Bunch of fucking kids, man. Unruly ass children without a guide. None of you had the answer to this shit. If it was about killing and darkness and murdering and destruction and, and all that shit, then don't you think we, that's what it would have been a long time ago for our people? Why we didn't slit no fucking throats and cut no fucking heads off when we were being taken into slavery, my nigga? When we were being trodden down and beat the fuck down? Huh? Why we were so docile and just letting it happen then? See, as children in the light, man, that ain't our nature. That's not our nature. You see? We don't render evil for evil. That's not what we about, man. We are who we are, see? If there's evil on the earth, then there must be good on the earth. Everything has a counterbalance to it. And so if you are a good, uh, uh, a part of the good beings on the earth, then you don't have to soup yourself down to the lower level of a lesser being than you to reason with him. You step over him. You step beyond him. You leave him. You go no contact and you move forward. You see, we know the truth about what's going on with us as melanated beings. That we were being punished by our father for our disobedience to keep his commands, which are to love one another. You see, Remedy, but you ain't teaching that. None of you niggas is teaching that shit. You all trying to come up with something to make yourself look like something to somebody. But when you are really challenged, when you are really questioned, you ain't got nothing to say. When the battle was really on. I don't understand why we always have to go at each other. We always have to come at each other. Well, because my people have been manipulated and tricked for hundreds and hundreds of years. They've been deceived. And so, no, I ain't giving quarter to nobody. I don't give a damn what the outward appearance look like, my nigga. If you got locks in your fucking hair, if you got melanated skin, it ain't going to change a damn thing. I'm looking at what's in your fucking heart. What's in your heart today? Because that's going to tell me everything I need to know about you, my nigga. Not what you look like. That ain't gonna tell me shit about you. Cause you can fake that shit. You can fake it. 
Ain't that what everybody else doing out here? All these fucking Instagram models and all these fucking people on the social sites? Aren't they just faking it? So you can fake the outward appearance to make yourself look like you something, nigga. But you can't fake what's in your heart. You see that? So like I said, man, y'all gonna face what's real today. You're gonna face the fucking truth, man. And if you got enough time to make a video about another nigga who's questioning you or who's coming at you, then you definitely had enough time to make a video about me. Because I'm coming hot. And, you, and I came at you and your followers came at me and you didn't have shit to say and you knew it was happening you didn't have nothing to say. And your followers should have knew you was a bitch-ass nigga for that. You see that? Y'all all, all should have known that. Because that gives you the opportunity to see your, your teacher, your guide, whatever he is to you. That's going to give you the opportunity to see what kind of man he is when he's challenged. Not when he can just make things up and just tell you that's what they are. He can use pedophile, pedophile symbols when he's drawing his little symbols. And then when you ask him about it, he just says, oh, these are ancient symbols. Prove that it's an ancient symbol. Prove it. This written on the wall. Prove it. What wall? Show me the wall where those pedophile symbols are being used. Show me. The nigga don't show and prove nothing to y'all, man. He's just talking shit. And y'all accept it. Because you just got itching ears. You just wanted somebody to say, tell you something that's in alignment with what you think. Yeah, we're going to get superpowers. We're going to rise up and destroy this whole wide world. Mother Nature is divvying out superpowers. And she's divvying out these superpowers to who? Based on what? Just randomly, huh? You're not thinking. Y'all not using that mind that Abba gave you, man. Because you don't trust Abba. You don't believe in Abba. You believe in all these other idol idols. <laughs> Y'all sin is idolatry, man. Y'all want to serve the creation. Y'all don't want to serve the creator. Y'all want to serve creation. So you all going to be left desolate. And like I said to you, Remedy H, you ain't going to say shit because you're afraid of me, nigga. You know you is, and I'm saying this shit. So all you who hear this, let the nigga know. He said, you're afraid of him. And that's why you won't respond. Because he can simply say, hey, brother, I saw your video. Meet me at such and such and such a street. We can sit down and talk about this as men. That's all you got to do, Remedy. Why won't you do that? Because you know your ass going to get confounded. And you know you ain't got no legs to stand on. That's why. And you know your head gonna roll, nigga. So you keep hiding all the fuck you want. I'm gonna keep exposing. Every last one of you fucking devils, man.